food security has been a huge problem since 1980s. And let me explain why. Before that, my name is Sebastian Estrada, and today I'm here to explain you or to give you some important ideas and some advantages and disadvantages on food security. Okay, to begin with, what is food security? We can consider food security as the quality or the caring that we give to food from the prime material to the final product. Uh, we can say restaurants, or we can say fast food things, or actually our own food, our home. So, why is this important? Without food security, we are not sure what are we consuming. If we are consuming good thing, we are consuming bad thing, we don't know if it's going to affect us in some time, we don't know if it has bacteria, microorganisms that could actually affect us. On the other hand, how food security has been improving. In 1980 approximately, there being a lot of documentaries telling about some problems that many people on the United States are having because of the food they are consuming. But they have many, I don't know, bacteria, microorganisms or pathogens that have affected them in a really bad way. In a really bad way, getting to the level where they are terminating their life. So, I've been, so I did a research about all these cases and they're usually just in the United States. Let's say why. So in the United States, we have these big industries that to, just to make sure to take bacteria and to, to make or to take any dangerous thing about food, they're using some stuff that for many people can be actually allergic or can cause secondary effects. We don't know why, but it just happened. So let's see some advantages and disadvantages of the food security. Let's start with the disadvantages. In the disadvantages, we can say, first of all, it's going to be really, really expensive. Why? Because the carrying of the food is really big. We got to make new adaptations on the machines. We got to do new adaptations on, chemi in, on chemistry with the food, new processes, new hygiene methods to make cleaner food. Actually, not using a lot of chemicals, but just using our cleaning space. So this is a disadvantage. Going through the advantages, we can say that we can take care about or we can take care of the healthier life of people. So if you are consuming healthier stuff or healthier food, so how do you think your body is going to adapt to that healthier thing? Maybe some people won't be able to adapt the same way as others, but hey, we are all going to be healthier. We're not eating uh, chemicals or we're not eating something bad like bacteria or uh, microorganisms, right? So we're eating something that's going to help us, that is going to make our defenses go strong. So to finish with this video, we, we're going to do a summary about the important ideas of fuel security. First of all, as you can say about the old ideas I, I already gave you, is fuel security is very important in many ways. First way. If we don't have first uh, food security, we cannot guarantee the quality of the food that we are consuming. We cannot guarantee how good it's going to be in the future, how it's going to be in the present, or, or what problems it had in the past that they don't have it right now in the present or won't have in the future. Second of all, without food security, um, we are not able to manage the diets of, of people. I mean, we cannot give the same same thing to eat to one person with a different organism than to another or to a fat people and a skinny people. So it actually helps us to manage diets of many people too, so they can be healthier. And last but not least, we are taking a lot or the most percent of bacteria or microorganisms that can be dangerous for our organism, that we can make infections, I don't know, sicknesses that we actually can terminate us. So let's say that food security is improving and it will be or it will get to the level where it's definitely going to help people without making any, any danger to people that cannot adapt. Thank you.